first of all, we have the best job in the world. You know, we we are so we're, we talk about this often that you know, especially in today's economy and the way jobs are so scarce in so much, so many parts of the country that we're so fortunate to be able to do what we do and do what we love, do what we've been 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 um, trained to do for so many years. And so, you know, you you kind of deal with the byproduct of a hectic schedule. And and it's like, hey, I'm talking about I get I was in Brazil and Amsterdam this summer. I mean, oh, poor me, you know. <laughs> I had to get off a plane and I had 24 hours and get right back on another plane. Oh, but you know, sing a, sing a song. But so it's, it's the, the, for me, it's, it's just a beautiful, wonderful opportunity. And I, and I take it in stride and never take it for granted. It's, it's a challenge. It can be a challenge, but fortunately we have great family around us, supportive family and friends, um, foundation. And then there's us, there's just the five of us that isn't in a family in and of itself. Uh, you know, we enjoy each other so much and, and, you know, it, want to spend time together. And so it's, it's a, it's a really, again, just a beautiful opportunity that we've, that we've had and try to take care of as much as we can. All of a tour is about 20% playing and 80% everything else. Right. You know, 80% of walking out of my house, getting to the airport, yeah. flying there, the rental car, the hotel, this. Uh, oh, and then we give a two hour concert, right. you know, but that two hours or that, you know, 45 minutes with with kids or teaching a master class of, of students, which we'll see in, in all of those little moments make up for the rest right. of the big, t- you know, the rest of the yeah. time where you're not. Yeah, that energy, you're right, that you get from the stage and from that interaction is it's the Huge. it's the yeah, yeah, it's the food. It's our fuel yeah. you know, to work for us. Absolutely. Yeah, it, it, I don't think it is difficult for us at, at this point. I think um, it's so ingrained in us this desire to to have um, th- these different oral experiences. So, so you know, coming from different backgrounds and different different sources of inspiration with these composers, we're so used to that. Um, to offering that to our audiences that I think we're, you know, we're able to kind of switch and, and we really think about being focused in the moment on that piece. We, we try to like just compose ourselves and get right away on what that, that piece at that moment will be trying to say. Um, we do often do some, some themed programs. I shouldn't say often, but we have, we have done those sort of things. And even within that, it's still sort of like, you know, each piece has its own representation of um, of itself. I guess it has it has to have it have its own focus, its own um, purpose, if you will. So, um, yeah, I don't think it's too it's too difficult for us. We we relish in that. We enjoy, you know, what's going to happen next. Kind of <laughs> serendipity. It's just so so many things have happened, and you didn't think that was going to happen or how did it happen it didn't seem as though it would be a big of a deal at the time but then it turned into this wonderful collaboration and and uh that's that has happened more than once with us (laughs) we're kind of cosmic like that We've gotten overall, you know, you can't you can't ever please everyone all the time. That's for sure. And mm-hmm. but in, in a pretty uh, majority sort of way, uh, the audiences that we come across in different parts of the country, different parts of the world, are are very excited about um, about what we offer. I think a lot of it has to do, in all honesty, with the lack of knowledge. Um, just getting back to the the wind quintet being sort of this this sideways child in the in the yeah. chamber family you know for, i believe me i've heard more times than i can count um i had no idea that the bassoon sounded that way you know i or or you know then there's the my wife made me come to this you know or <laughs> <laughs> or i think this is my favorite i i was planning not to like this people bring um their own their own uh preconceived notions to the table of thinking that they're not really going to enjoy its wind you know, they think band music, they think yeah. something that's kind of, square. yeah, you know, just square and, and not really enjoyable, you know. So you've got that on the table, unfortunately, to begin with. So, you know, we think of ourselves as educators, not just on the on the student teacher level, but on the audience performer level as well, just showing showing that all of this is there. So, yeah, I think 
and then the, the, the to address the diversity thing, I think it's actually better because the, most people will say, I love the variation that you brought. Right. I love that this piece sounded that way and then this was way different. And, and so they actually enjoy that, um, that diversity, that variation. And, and they, you know, you don't have time to not like something for so if you don't like it, <laughs> it'll be over a couple of minutes. <laughs>